today we visit six Napa downtown brew pubs. After wine tasting in the Napa Valley all day, what people really crave is a good craft beer. Beer complements wine. Now let's take that journey through Brew Pub Wonderland. We start off at Stone Brewing Company. It has one of the most visually pleasing buildings. It's like a castle. There's three outdoor seating areas that have beautiful views of the river, and one is right in a redwood grove. There's also a small bar area on the first floor and a large expansive bar area on the second floor with those gorgeous views of the river. Stone is located on the east side of the 3rd Avenue Bridge from downtown Napa. There's limited street parking, so you may need to walk from downtown. Stone is the largest production brewer in Napa and also ranked ninth largest craft brewer in the U.S. Stone put QR code menus on the tables so that you can order with your phone, but they still take orders the old-fashioned way, if you ask. They sell flights, pints, and also mini glasses. They have excellent food. Try the ribs, the pulled pork, or the brisket. They do have a lot of Yelp ratings if you're interested. Now we go to Downtown Joe's, located on Main Street between the 1st and 3rd Street bridges. There is an area inside and outside that have views of the river. There's four seating areas total. Hey guys, welcome to Downtown Joe's. We are in-house brewery. Look forward to seeing you soon. Joe's is open every day, plus the mornings. It's a full bar that serves mixed drinks, wine, as well as excellent craft beer. They have a variety of bar food available, and I was overjoyed to find potato skins. They've historically had live music at night, especially on weekends. Now we go to Palisades at the corner of Main and 1st Street. They have four seating areas, including outdoors right along Main Street. Locals and tourists love it, and it's got a sports bar feel. Napa Palisades Saloon, I work here. My name is Sunny. I was born and raised in Napa, best brewery saloon in, in the valley. We've got the best food, great environment, and uh, some of the best brews on tap. Come check us out. Palisades serves draft cider like that, wine, mixed drinks, as well as tasty craft beer. Hit the thumbs up and we'll see ya. Now we join the parade of people that go across the First Street Bridge to Oxbow Market.
we visit the field work tap room relocated just outside Oxbow Market on McKinstry. Fieldwork has five Bay Area locations. There's a friendly vibe with both indoor and outdoor seating. Fieldwork sells very popular taster flights as well as pints of a variety of craft beer. They don't currently sell food, but they allow you to bring it in from other places. So I went to Gott's around the corner and got these fish tacos. I have the uh, sound, sound Parade in the Radio Origami, both hazy IPAs. That's what Fieldwork here is most known for. We have a bunch of hazy IPAs on our menu here. Um, so these are just two of the most popular. Cheers! So, along the fence, we have these locks. But people used to take a lock, put their initials on it, lock it up to the fence over there as a sign of their love. And I still got a lock to put on there myself. Give it a thumbs up and we'll see you later. We journey to Trade Brewing, which is right on First Street in the block next to Oxbow Market. There's outdoor seating both in the front and in the back, as well as seating inside on the first floor. It's got a laid back vibe that feels like your hometown pub. things about this place is we love to assist people to come in multiple times whether you're a tourist or a local uh, you can definitely come in and you're starting to get to know our names we're going to start to get to know your names uh, we've got music every weekend too so we always have live music here which is really nice uh, my other favorite thing is we do pop-up events so our food is always different uh, we've always got different companies coming in we help out with small mom and pop businesses uh, that are bringing food into us so we're always enjoying something new. This is a jerk chicken that I smoked and cooked with a Jamaican jerk seasoning. Cut it up, put it on there. I got lettuce. I got a homemade avocado crema with lime juice, sour cream, shredded lettuce, tomatoes, black olives, and a habanero guacamole sauce. Woo! Yeah, we're doing that. Trade beer, give it a thumbs up. See you later. The Welcome to our finale, St. Clair Brown Winery and Brewery. A bit farther out, but worth it for the tranquility and peace. You essentially get your own garden room to sit in for tasting flights of wine or beer. They also have thirst quenching glasses of fresh homemade lemonade. So we are St. Clair Brown. We're a winery and a brewery. We're actually Napa's only winery and brewery. We're surrounded in this oasis of auto shop. So we built this beautiful garden to just kind of beautify the space a bit. So on this quarter acre, we have actually 60 fruit trees, tons of herbs, plants, it's all edible, all organic. So we're in the city of Napa. A lot of wineries are out in the valley, but they have to close early. And also most importantly, they can't have beer. 
So that's why we chose to be in the city center so we can have wine, we can have food, beer. So we're kind of the best of both worlds. So we are a Pico brewery, which is small than, smaller than Nano Micro. So we're actually home brewing size. So we make around 14 different beers, around three kegs of each. So really small, it's a two barrel system. So we make from a Vienna Pale Ale, a Marzen, Pilsner, Honey Wheat, Ale, Saison, all the way to an oatmeal stout, a black IPA. So we make a variety of different beers, tons of hops. We actually grow our own hops for our Saison, which we release once a year. And all of our wine and beer is made by one woman. So she's been, she actually founded Napa's first craft brewery back in the early 90s. So Napa Valley Ale Works, they dissolved it now, but she's been doing wine and beer since the 80s. So she makes 14 different beers. We just rotate them out throughout the year. So this is the only place to get our beer. We don't distribute at all. This is where to get it. Lemonade with bergamot orange from our garden, lemons from our garden as well, and a little bit of rosemary infused into that. And then we have some citrus marinated olives. The citrus is also from our garden and it has also some rosemary from just around here. This is St. Clair Brown. Give it a thumbs up and we'll see you later. Give it the thumbs up and we'll see you later.